Okay, so uh, welcome everyone because I have uh, more participants attending. So just uh, wait for a few more minutes. So uh, this program uh, for Ho and Penhao was started by myself and uh, my two supporters, my uh, co-founders, which is, uh, who are Sana Janet and Samira Mohsen. Within a short span of only three months, we have 150 students who are also the uh, teacher itself. Also, we have uh, uh, 29 or 20, th around 30 teachers who are teaching more than 20 different subjects. We do conduct bi-monthly uh, teachers meetings to encourage our uh, teachers because they are very young and they're teaching themselves. Also, uh, it's a great uh, community service. We have uh, started and uh, recently we conducted a stationary drive, which was held to collect the stationery all around uh, the Jeddah because we are based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And here we collected all the stationeries and we distributed to the needy. And we also conduct professional talks uh, which are held for the public regardless of the age. And um, like we are, we are trying to serve beyond borders uh, where experts give their views to guide the audience on relevant topics followed by a question answer. So a uh, very warm well, welcome again to all of you. And um, we would like to wait a few more minutes till uh, more participants join in. So I'm very glad that there are, uh, uh, there are participants for Germany and uh, we have participants from uh, Jeddah, we have participants from Kuwait, Qatar, and uh, of course, uh, UK. And I'm really very thankful to my uh, friend, Amna Ejazi, for uh, giving us time for this valuable session. So uh, Amna, if you want to start now, you can start now, please. Uh, if you have any question regarding anything, you can uh, post on the calligraphy group. Also, I would like uh, uh, I would like to request all of you for uh, to remain in the group because sooner we will be announcing two uh, bonus sessions, which will one will be on the parenting, which will be conducted by the top psychiatrist of Jeddah, and the second one will be from. Uh, the second one will be on the first first thing first, which will be on the time management. Okay. Okay, because we are live on the YouTube as well, so I will share the link soon. Uh, this is all from my side, and I would like to ask Mrs. Amna Ejazi to start now. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum and a very, very warm welcome to all of you here today. Um, I'd like to first thank my dear, lovely friend, Nikha Jamil, um, who encouraged me to do this session and provided me the opportunity um, to teach on behalf of her passion project of Parho and Parhao. I hope everyone can hear me okay. Uh, Nigga, please can you make sure? You are audible to all. If there will okay. be anything, I will just inform you. You can just continue smoothly. Thank you. All right. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Amina Ijazi. Um, I'm uh, an Arabic calligraphy artist based in the UK. Um, a little bit about me. Um, my degree is in business. Uh, at college, I studied business and majored in marketing, but my heart has always been in art. Um, growing up, I have, I have been interested in art uh, for as long as I can remember, ever since I was a little girl. My first and foremost and my most primary influence um, regarding art has always been my mother, who is an incredibly talented, formally trained artist uh, who paints in oils on canvas. Um, shout out to my mother. Um, just a minute. Um, that's her Facebook page, Different Strokes by Sadia. I would be really happy if you could all just go and give her a follow. And I'm really pleased to announce that both my parents are also attending this session here today. Assalamu alaikum, Ammi Abu. I love you. May Allah always shower his blessings upon you. Ameen. 
So before we begin, I'd like you to draw, I'd like to draw your attention to the topic, which is introduction to Arabic calligraphy art. Why I refer to this as an art instead of, and myself as a calligraphy artist or a khatati artist rather than as a calligrapher is because my technique is slightly different from uh, the traditional khatati or calligraphy, which is also why I've not asked you to bring any special uh, paper or columns or pens or ink for the session today. Um, I'm not a trained calligrapher, rather a calligraphy artist. And I feel that could either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which way you look at it. Um, but I just feel that the technique that I use lends itself more favorably to, to the kind of art that I do. So what we are doing here today is not a writing text, rather it is a drawing technique where we draw the art. Please, can we make sure everybody's mute? Right. So I was saying, um, so the technique that I use, it's, it's not a writing technique, rather an artistic drawing technique. And it lends itself very nicely to the kind of art that I do. Um, you can see some of my work. Um, with the technique that I do, it is possible for me to manipulate the text um, as per the requirements of uh, the piece that I'm doing, as per the requirements of my creative expression. Um, if I were to go back to the traditional calligraphy, I feel I would have been inhibited by the number of cuts and the lengths and the breadths and the measurements of each letter and its different forms. However, I feel, however, I feel that uh, not being trained as a calligrapher is sort of a plus point for the kind of art that I do. Which is not to say that I don't have, um, I, I have tremendous respect for those uh, who, uh, for those who have mastered this traditional uh, skill. Um, it's just that the technique that I use is more, um, is a good, um, the, lends itself nicely to the kind of work that I'm doing. So as you can see with my work, uh, most of it, most of my work is the, uh, is incorporating the Sulus script of Arabic calligraphy, which is one of the traditional scripts along with Kufi and Nas. And which is also, Sulus is also the one that we are going to be looking at today. With this last piece, um, the text that you see here in orange, Khairul uh, Razakin, is the technique that I'm going to be teaching today in the Sulus script. The work that you see here at the bottom in varying shades of green is a different technique. This is freehand painting and more um, a more modern form of calligraphy, which is called calligraffiti. Right, so what I've asked for you to have on hand today is a pencil, um, some paper and eraser. And when I say that this is a drawing technique, I want everybody to understand that that, that by no means means that um, this is a shortcut. This is going to require a lot of time, a lot of hard work and a lot of effort for whoever who chooses to learn, learn this, which is also why I asked you to bring with you a learning mindset. The Arabic alphabet is uh, comprised of 28 letters. Um, some of you I know are not familiar with the alphabet. Sorry, someone's annotating here. Thank you. Um, so with the 28 letters of the Arabic alphabet, uh, for those of you who don't know, who are not familiar with the Arabic alphabet, a lot of the letters look so much like each other. They're almost identical with just minor differences. For example, the ba, ta, and sa only, only have the difference in the number of dots or nuqtas. Similarly, jim, ha, ha are all similar. Similarly, dal, dal, and ra, za, so on and so forth. What this means is that if you know one of these three, you know all of them. 
Now, in the Arabic alphabet, when we are talking about calligraphy, each letter has four forms. So the first one is the standalone form, which is what we see here. These are the standalone forms of each letter. Um, and then there are three joining forms, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. So on the agenda today is um, I'm going to use the letter ba as in as a sort of a demo uh, to demonstrate uh, with an example um, what the four forms might look like and how they interact together to, to join and form a word. Um, then we'll be moving on to learning how to write the word Allah. And for those of you, um, this is when I would like you to try and follow along with me. If you can't keep up with me, that's all right, because at the end of the session, we will be providing you with a free printable, which you can use um, to create your own, um, own, own word. So the word Allah is formed of three letters the standalone form of alif, and then two forms of lam, the beginning form, the middle form of lam, and the ending form of the letter ha. With this, I'd like, you to, I'd like to take you to the video example. Uh, I would like to request all participants to please uh, switch off their cameras so that we can view the instructor's video clearly. Thank you. Uh, Amna, have you started the... I, I am not, I'm, I haven't been able to access my own video. I've turned my camera on. Yes. Uh, just give me a minute so that I can pin your video and then uh, you can proceed. Or if you want to disable your uh, share, screen sharing, then you can also do that. It's perfect now from my okay. side. Is everyone... Uh, right. Can everybody see my video? Uh, we can see it, but uh, let's make... Nikit, have you pinned the video? Just one more minute, please. Uh, okay. It's okay, we can see the video. Right. So, as I was saying, in the Arabic alphabet, uh, every, every alphabet has... Yes. There was some sort of disturbance. It's okay. Uh, everyone is required to pin the video on the screen if you're using laptop. Otherwise, uh, if there is any disturbance, okay. Uh, you can continue because I'm speaking, so my, uh, my thing is appearing on the screen. Please continue on now. Just a minute, let me just... Um, right. As I was saying, in, Arab, in the Arabic alphabet, every letter has about four forms. The standalone, the beginning, the middle, and the ending form. So I'm going to use the letter ba to demonstrate this point. So if I were to draw the letter ba using my technique, and I repeat, please don't try and follow along. I'd like you to just listen and watch carefully. So this is the standalone form of the letter ba. 
This is the beginning form of the letter bar. This is the middle form. And this is the ending form. It might sound confusing at the moment, but it will all come together in a bit. So as I said, this is the standalone form. And these three are the joining forms when we want to put together a word using the letter bar. Beginning, middle, ending. Now this is when it comes together. So if I were to form a word and bring the variant forms of the letter bar together, this is how I would do it. Beginning form. And then this is the lead in and the lead out for the middle form. Lead in, middle form. ending form. Now, this demonstration is not me teaching. Uh, rather, it's me trying to communicate the point that every letter has at least four forms in the Arabic alphabet. Another thing that I'd like for you to understand here is uh, what I was saying about a, lo a lot of letters being almost identical with minor differences. So, when you know a ba, you automatically know a ta because the only difference would be the number of dots or nuktas. So on a ta, there, uh, there are two dots on top. So this now becomes a ta. This now becomes the beginning form of the ta. And similarly for the middle and the ending forms, if we just exchange in the, the, the dots. So once you know a ba, you know a ta, and you also know the tha. So when we come to join this all together, knowing the ba, I can join ba, ta, So this is how the Arabic alphabet comes together. So in order to learn Arabic calligraphy, there are 28 letters, all with four forms. That's about roughly 100, over 110 letter forms to know how to work with Arabic calligraphy. So this is when I give you a pro tip. When you're working with Arabic calligraphy, this is the single most important tip that I or anybody else can give you especially if you're using the drawing technique. Ready? So the pro tip is where the pen turns, it leaves a cut. What that means is, 
So this is the qalam or the pen of the Arabic calligraphy that we are trying to mimic in our drawing. So if I'm writing a ba, and I'm using a pen, this is the point where the pen turns. And this is where the pen will leave a cut. What that means is wherever there is a bend or a turn of the pen, there is always a cut. This is a pro tip I need everybody to remember. Wherever the pen turns, there is a cut. Be it ba, dal, jeem, or any letter of the Arabic alphabet. The second pro tip that I will give you today is to maintain pen width at all times. So what we are doing is we are mimic with our drawing, we are mimicking, mim mimicking the shape or the movement of this pen, which is cut in it at an angle, and it's also got a width. When you work with the column, the width does not change. The width remains if it's a quarter of an inch, half an inch, it remains the same. If I were to use my technique to write Arabic, and I write a bar, and my hand is slightly shaky, and my width fluctuates, this is how it would look. So the width of the pen needs to remain uniform all throughout. So two pro tips. Number one, where the pen turns, it leaves a cut. And all that means is wherever there's a bend, there's a cut. And the second pro tip, maintain pen width at all times. That is what will differentiate your, your writing from this to this. Let's move on to our tutorial. Now, this is where I'd like you to follow along with me. And if you can't keep up, don't worry, because I, I'm going to provide a free printable at the end of this session, which you can use to practice at your own pace, in your own time. So remember when I said, what we're attempting to do now is to write the word Allah. So this will be the uh, standalone form of Alif, beginning form of the Lam, middle form of the Lam, and the ending form of the letter ha. Alif, lam, lam, ha. So for the standalone form of alif, alif is basically just a straight line that sort of bends right at the end. Maintaining pen width and tapering off. And at the end, just a flick of the pen. Now we're going to do, I hope everybody is able to follow along. I'll repeat my instructions. So one sort of fluid, vertical line down, sort of curling to the left, right at the tip. The second line, following along, maintaining pen width and tapering off right here. The first mark. Second mark, taper here, 
and a little triangle, which is we're mimicking the flick of the pen. Now, let's move on to the beginning form of lamb. Remember what I said, wherever there is a bend, there is a cut. Maintain pen width, single fluid stroke, beginning form of lam, then you lead in for the middle form of lam. So beginning form of lam. Standalone alif. Now leading into the middle form of lam. This is the lead in. middle form of lamb and then we will do the ending form of ha at the very end the flick of the pen and you should end up with something like this. So again, the standalone form of Aleph, the beginning form of Lam, the middle joining form of Lam and the ending form of Ha. Now, each of these letters, Alif, Lam, Ha, all have four forms. Today, I've taught you two forms of Lam. One form of Alif and one form of Ha. As a quick recap, so the Alif is almost a smooth vertical line just tapering towards the left with a flick of the pen, maintaining pen width, of course. The Lam is actually pretty similar to what we did with the bar, with the beginning form of the bar, just the line is a bit extended. Don't worry if you're not able to keep up with me. Like I said, you're going to receive a free printable that you can print off and practice at your own time. So for the last time, these are my strokes. And then when I, I went up for the lead in to the middle form of the lam, and this is the ending form of the ha. And 
this is what you end up with. Now in Arabic, all uh, the letters of the alphabet are consonants and the vowels are actually something called the haraka. And the haraka are So if this is a letter, pa, patha, kasra, dhamma, that denote a, e, u. And to double a letter and to sort of um, pronounce it, elongate pronunciation, you use something called a shadda. So for the, let, for the word Allah, which we learned how to write now, the necessary haraka are the shadda, and an alif to denote the stretching sound of the vowel. So if we were, to put these haraka on here. It's actually sort of a smaller version of this. So even in the pre-printable, I have not included the shadda, but I'm going to do it for you here now. All you have to do is reproduce this bit here in a smaller size here. So you go in, with the beginning form of the lamb. In the tiniest of hand, you get, go in for the lead in. followed by a tiny little alif that we learned to do here. So one fluid line like this, maintaining pen width, tapering off here, little flick of the pen. So don't worry if you weren't able to follow along, you're going to receive the free printable that you can use and follow at your own time. And with that, I'm going to go back to the screen share. So basically, this is what we covered. We did, I showed you what a ba looks like and by design of the Arabic alphabet, that means that I've also shown you what a ta and a tha look like. So we covered three letters and the four forms of three letters, which is 12 letter forms. We covered the standalone form of Aleph, one letter form, the beginning and middle form of Lam, so two letter forms, and the ending form of Ha, so another letter form. So we did 16 letter forms out of about 100 plus. Pretty good, pretty good for 30, 40 minutes. We did we learned how to write the word Allah. And of course, you're going to receive the printable. Now, if you were to take a full course and learn how to do this, 
what would your options be? What would the next steps be? The next steps would be sort of going freehand. I will show you a few artists. And the next steps would be to try your hand at the other calligraphy scripts, which could, which could range, from, range from the traditional Kufi and Nas to the more modern versions. An example of the more modern works, some examples I can show you. So these are some artists that I follow from around the world. El Cid is known for his calligraphy, which is an amalgamation of calligraphy and graffiti. Ruhullah Ayatan. He, he works in Persian as well as Arabic. And this is where you can go. So his work is all freehand. Um, I think your screen is stopped at Arabic calligraphy art advance. Let me have a look. Is this visible now? Yes, it is visible. Thank you. Can you just uh, go through this again? Right. So I introduced uh, the artist Elseed, whose work is primarily based on calligraphy and ranges from this graffiti style of uh, calligraphy. And it's all freehand. I really like Ruhullah Ayatan as well. So these are the next steps. Once you learn, this is how you can progress. All this work is all freehand. Now calligraphy is not limited to Arabic. There are artists that do this in different languages. This is cryptic. This is another really popular artist that I really like. Um, one of his uh, contributions is an entirely new script. So this is a new modern script, which uh, the artist Wissam Shokat has named after himself. So it's called Al Khattul Wissam. He has developed a whole new script. And the purpose of developing this script was again for the purposes of freehand art in order to be able to manipulate the alphabet as per the requirements of your art. This is another artist. Again, this is not, this is Arabic as well. So the point of sharing this is that the learning never stops. And with that, I'd like to conclude today's session. I'd like, a, I'd like you to give a, sh a follow to my Facebook and my Instagram page at Qatartist. Um, the links are coming to your uh, WhatsApp chat group. Um, I'd like you, I'd really appreciate if you could follow Parho or Parhal um, on Instagram. And before, before leaving, if you could also fill out a short feedback form, which is also coming um, to your chat group now.
and make sure you follow my mom. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I would like uh, to ask uh, participants if they have any query so they can ask on the chat box or in the calligraphic group as you found feasible. Uh, so I will be uh, sharing all the Okay, uh, there is one question, Amna, that is there any specific way of collaborating art with calligraphy? Um, I would say that comes with experience. So if, if you, th that is actually the reason why I prefer drawing instead of writing with a column. Um, and once you learn how to draw the alphabets and all its, in all, in all its forms, um, it is, it wouldn't take you much time to be able to manipulate that and merge it with your art. Um, there are artists like I showed you uh, who work on, you know, plain backgrounds, on paper, on sort of abstract backgrounds like I do. So it's up to you. The sky is the limit how you sort of uh, marry calligraphy into your art. Um, it's, it, it's up to the artist's personal style and with their experience. I mean, what I can do is I can give tips as to how I do it, uh, but that would be in, an entirely different session. Uh, thank you so much. I have shared the link on uh, by Amna's mother, Sadia, or, or the Facebook link on the on the group. Also, the uh, her Amna's own page link is on the group. And all are requested to just stay in the group for a while because we will be introducing another session as well as uh, like uh, Mrs. Amna Ishrasi will be uh, sharing her detailed uh, full course as well on the on the group soon. So uh, please uh, uh, do not uh, leave the meeting. If you have any other question you can ask and uh, thank you everyone for joining this session. I would like to inform you that uh, this Parhao and Parhao uh, program is solely dedicated to my uh, father-in-law who just passed away a few months ago and his name is Sayyid Khurshid al -Hasnan. And I would like to uh, all of you to remember him uh, in your prayers because uh, he has just instilled this love of education and promoting education. And it's very important to give uh, uh, credit to him because whatever we are here is just because of him. So thank you so much. And uh, uh, yes, Amna, there are a few questions that are you taking any online courses and is there any online course, please? Um, I do uh, online sessions and I will, if there are interested people, if there are enough interested people, I will announce my online course on the WhatsApp group. So if you're interested in attending a course with me, um, just stay on and uh, you can talk to me over there. Okay, uh, uh, the, group is, uh, the group is now open for all the participants. They can type in the question and if you have any query, of course, we had a very short time today, just 40 minutes and everything was not, uh, is not like, uh, this is such a, it's such a less time to cover everything in such a small time, but I'm really glad that Amna Jazi has taken out her time and shared important tips there. Also, we have, um, like uh, the detailed courses uh, announcement will be done on the group. So I would like you, to, all of you to stay in the group and uh, for more updates. And also I would like to request all of you to fill the uh, feedback form so that we can know what are the demands and what are, what are the further we can do to uh, improve our sessions and bring more to you. Okay, there is another question that, are there any templates available for different script I think there will be. Uh, yes. uh, I would say templates are shortcuts. I don't provide templates. I do courses. I teach uh, with the um, the artist I spoke about who has invented his own script, the Khatul Visam. You can follow him, um, Visam Shokat. His script you can learn very easily by his sort of, um, because he does the entire alphabet in his script and posts them on, on, on his Instagram. So you can have a look there and you can try and learn it. Um, I haven't used templates for my learning 
and I don't I don't provide templates for my students. Uh, that is not the way that I encourage learning. Okay, but I think you will be sharing one, right? I I will be sharing the sort of a. I will share a um, a free printable. I can show you. I can show you if we share screen one more time. I can show what I mean. Okay. Um, I can show the free printable here. Just a minute. Um, all of the part. I'm really. Uh, I'm really sorry that I'm just bombarding the group with different uh, uh, Insta links because, uh, of course, because uh, as as a founder of Parvo and Parhao, uh, we need recognition from uh, different people from different countries. We are working for a cause, so we need to spread the word, and we need more people to come forward and share their ideas and uh, collaborate with us. So I'm really sorry if you feel like that I'm posting too much. Okay. So this is the okay. this is the free printable that you can down uh, that you can print off and practice writing the word Allah, and it will be shared on the WhatsApp group. Can we direct uh, the remaining questions to the um, WhatsApp group now? Uh, yes, please. So dear participants, if you have any other questions, you can just uh, post it in the in the group in the category because uh, we have short time left. So I would like to request if you have any other question, you can post in the group so that Mrs. Amna Jazi can answer that. And once again, you have uh, you have written your name beautifully, dear Amna. There is another comment for you. And Jazakallah Khair is here for a lovely session. And thank you so much for the wonderful session. We really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I have no words. I have no words for conducting such a, a tremendous and such a successful event. And also, I would like to uh, congratulate your mother and father who is attending this session that you have raised up a wonderful daughter. Um, there's a question. Are we going to learn different scripts or just Arabic alphabets? So when you say Arabic, Arabic itself, um, there are countless scripts. The one that I've shown you today is the traditional Sulus script, which is only one of the other uh, traditional scripts as well. Um, there are many, many, many um, Arabic scripts. M my teaching is currently limited to Arabic, the Arabic language uh, at the moment, because that's all that I have learned. Uh, I would like to expand my learning in future. Um, I can do other scripts as well, but at the moment, this is the solo script uh, of the Arabic alphabet is what I'm offering. Um, they've got uh, a couple of questions about the, uh, about the thickness of the pen. So like I said, I don't use the pen because this is a drawing technique for artists rather than learning how to do uh, calligraphy. Mm, well, you can you can you can adjust the pen width according to your drawing. So, for example, if you've got a huge canvas and you want to draw in a larger font, you 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 draw broader. And if you have a smaller canvas, you draw narrower. Um, is that it? Are there any more questions? You're welcome, everyone. Right, I think that's it for the questions. Thank you, Nigha. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the lovely words. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, with this uh, thank note, I would like to end the session. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.